Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing short GPT, which is an innovative open source AI framework, which is specifically developed for automating content creation with a primary focus on videos and short content. Now you can actually make multiple different videos with YouTube shorts, as well as landscape videos that could be posted on YouTube itself for TikTok and many of these other different platforms which you can see in this demo right over here. Basically, it provides a comprehensive set of tools and features that simplifies and streamlines the entire content creation process from scratch. Now guys, this is completely free and the only thing that you need to also you will need to pay for one thing and that is the API keys which is for 11 labs which is actually already free but only thing is just the open API key and this is something that is fairly cheap max you'll spend for this is probably like around two dollars five dollars max for spending on creating such shorts now one of the key components of short gpt is its automated editing framework and this framework is designed to enhance the video creation process by utilizing a large language model and it utilizes the oriented video editing language and by leveraging these language models as well as the orient oriented video editing language it is able to basically automate and optimize the various aspects of video editing resulting in a more efficient and effective content creation and this is something that we'll showcase in today's video i'm going to showcase as to how you can actually install this locally on your desktop and how you can actually run it and create your own content for free so with that thought let's get right into the video now if you guys haven't already followed world of ai on twitter definitely do so i'm going to be posting the latest ai news over here so you are up to date with the latest ai content now guys if you guys haven't subscribed world of ai on the youtube page definitely do so turn the notification bell like this video and if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, it mean the whole world to me if you guys can do so. There's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from. So I highly recommend that you check this out. And with that thought, let's get right into the video. So basically, Short GPT offers a wide range of ready to use scripts and prompts that can be used for different LM automated editing processes. And these scripts are basically different sets of prompts that serve as valuable resources for you as a user and it's basically predefined instructions and guidelines for automating the specific content creation tasks now this feature saves a lot of time and effort by eliminating the need to start from scratch instead of providing a solid foundation and something that you can actually build upon now ray one of the creators of this actual application was actually able to showcase that using short gpt he was able to create a youtube channel that reached over 700k views from zero using his ai content alone he was able to get 6.5 watch hours in just three months and this is just achievable on autopilot this was all working well he didn't even have a single human intervention with this channel and it's basically something that gives a use case for you and it's something for you like you just have to give it an instruction and you're able to get so much use out of it as you're able to automate this amazing channel from this amazing application now guys this framework supports multiple languages and it includes language of english spanish arabic french polish german italian and portuguese and this is the multilingual support that enables users to actually create content in their preferred language which is allowing you as an audience to have an enhancing accessibility of this application another thing that they've also were able to focus on is that there's a caption generation capability and this basically allows you to automate the process of generating captions for a video which makes it so much easier to create accessible inclusive content now captions are essential for video viewers because you're able to have things where there's subtitles that are added to videos and it basically simplifies the process for people who have disabilities or people who want to have something that is continuously working on the screen so that they have something to look at for a video now, short GPT also offers asset sourcing functionalities. And what this basically means is that it allows you as a user to source images and video footage from the actual internet. And it connects 
it with the actual web and leverages Pexel's API and it obtains relevant visual content for the use of the actual video. And this feature basically expands on the range of available resources and it's quite optional. You don't need to have this, but it's better if you want to formulate different types of appealing shorts for your actual YouTube channel or just any video content creation. Now to ensure persistence and long-term storage, what they were actually able to do is that ShortGPT integrated with TinyDB and that's Tiny Database and it's a company that integrates and enables the framework to store and retrieve data efficiently and it ensures the automated editing progress as well as the variables that are saved and available for future session. So basically pulls and utilizes this database to edit and store the automated videos that are actually created with this application. Now, this is a feature that is gonna help to maintain continuity as well as facilitating the seamless content creation across multiple sessions. Basically with this app, you can have a YouTube channel or maybe if you run your own agency, you can have content that is automatically being pumped with this application. And you don't even need to do anything. You just sit there, put in the instructions and you're able to get capable like appealing videos and this is something that is fairly new fairly small so i was able to actually find this on twitter and i always showcase that the content that is very appealing and something that is gonna be basically blowing up i knew this is gonna be a project that will be really useful for a lot of people so i really wanted to take showcase this though I, I definitely see this as a project that will be very beneficial for a lot of people. So definitely check this out and let us get to the next step where we talk a little bit more about the architecture. So short GPT architecture is actually built upon the foundation of GPT and it basically utilizes open AI's GPT models and it's basically utilizing this large language model to formulate the responses as well as the generation. And basically at its core, it also utilizes a transformer based architecture. And these transformers are basically neural network models that excel at processing like data as well as languages. And they consist of an encoder as well as a decoder, both of which are composed of multiple layers and self attention. And they feed forward to the actual neural networks. Now the encoder process then takes the input data, which is the case of short GPT, and it typically textualizes the information such as like scripts, prompts, or instructions that are given for the actual content creation. And it captures the context and the meaning of the input by attending to different parts of text and learning the relationships between the words and phrases using the actual help of the GPT model. Now the decoders, on the other hand, are taking the actual encoded information and generates output text based off the learned representation and in this context of short gpt what the decoder produces is generated text that can be used for various content automation tasks such as like video editing or like instructions captions or even voiceover scripts now to train the short gpt model there's a large data set of diverse and highly textual uh, quality content and this data is basically used to pre-train the model by exposing it to a wide range of language patterns and structures. Now the pre-training process involves predicting the next word in a sentence and it is then given to the preceding words, which allows the actual model to learn contextual dependencies and develop a rich understanding of the actual language. Now, once the actual model is pre-trained, it undergoes the fine tuning process to actually adapt to the specific task as well as the content automation. Like any other application, you have this flow that it operates in. And lastly, you have the actual generation of the content as it is fine tuned and you're able to get this content that is fully automated through this whole process. And that is how this actual application functions. You start, start it off with an idea with the actual encoders and then you are processing it with the decoders you then have it fine-tuned and then generated finally with the video that you want or desired from the actual instruction that you gave it so there's actually two ways to install it firstly i'm just going to showcase the google collab way as it's fairly easy to install and actually utilize secondly there is another way of installing it locally and that will re require you to have magic or image magic and it's fairly easy to install. You just have to install the application. And once you have that installed, you need to run the, the basic command for your actual processor. 
and once you have that installed you just have to install the environments that are needed to run it and it's fairly easy it has all the different commands that are set here to install the actual application once you have that installed obviously you need to clone the repository onto your desktop and you just have to paste this link where you just install the requirements for the python dependencies and you're able to run it easily by running this command python python run short gpt.py and it'll then prompt you into a radio like ui and you're going to be able to run the actual application now one thing is that once you have this open you have this ui over here but before i actually move on with the demo i just want to showcase one thing you're going to need an api key don't worry about this guys i'll change up the api key after this video but you will need an open api key and secondly you will need an 11 labs key this is for your voice encoder this is going to be used to actually generate the voice for your actual videos now you will also need this open api key to actually source the actual text generation so you'll need these two api keys to have this functional so make sure you two you have those two and what you will do once you have those two you will need to go into the configuration tab paste your open api key over here and paste your 11 lab key over here and then you just have to click save and then you're easy you're ready to run this easy application so i'll showcase this demo a little while later but i'm going to showcase how you can actually install this locally on your desktop first with using google collab sorry guys just let me fix all my words i did not mean to say install it locally i'm going to be using google collab to install it as it's fairly easy to do so and it doesn't require your own gpu so first thing what you want to do is click on this link over here and it'll take you to this google collab link and what you will do next is you'll need to go to the runtime and change the runtime to your own type of cpu uh, you will want to keep it as a gpu and not none so you're actually utilizing your gpu to actually help this run and then once you're done you click save obviously i did not do it because i kind of messed up at the start but you want to keep it as your gpu secondly what you want to do is you want to run this on your own file so you want to copy this into your own drive and run it not off this ray not off of ray who is the developers google collab so you want to run off your own collab and save it onto your own content and once you're ready to run it you can just easily click on this play button and it'll then start up and da start downloading the actual dependencies for this project and once it's done it'll take you to this two links over here you're obviously not running on a lo your local url so you're gonna have to click on the gradio public url which is right over here so once you click on this you're able to start playing around with the actual application and start creating your own content over here i chose an option to automate the creation of shorts you can also have and automate a video with stock assets. You can have landscape videos, different dimensions that you want. Firstly, you can even have an output of multiple different types of shorts. You can have it up to like 100, I believe, or even 30, whatever you want. In my case, I just showed case one for this demo. And you can have different types of short generated. You can have a Reddit story short. You can have a historical facts short. You have a scientific facts short and a custom fact short obviously these are different things that you can play around with custom you can talk about certain things that you want scientific fact you can play around with that and these these are the different options as to what you want your short to be generated as you have different languages that you can select you can use images obviously if you're going to use the image you will need to add your pexels key which will be used to source different types of images now i in this case i only used for five images per short you can add your own watermark by uploading your own channel name or whatever it may be and if you want to add a background noise there's are different types of music that you can add only two at the current moment if you were to run it locally on your desktop you can actually input different ones now you have your own background video in this case there's minecraft so you can easily click this minecraft jumping circuit or you can have a car racing gameplay or a ski gameplay whatever you might may like and i basically just clicked run and it was able to create this video under like five gross minutes. facts you don't know in one day your body produces enough saliva to fill two soda cans and if you see this you're able to showcase you can, i don't know about you guys but i've seen these videos on youtube shorts a lot and you're able to create such successful channels with this and it just goes to show 
from his example alone, he was able to create a channel based off of this that was fully automatic. It just produced the videos and it would upload it based off of his content and his configuration. I believe you can even download this video and play around with this later on and you can upload it wherever you want. You have an asset library in which you can actually upload and add your own videos and content if you want to have a different type of like preset for its video. So this is the amazing thing that you can do with short GPT. It's a small project that was made by the small developer, which goes to show how amazing people's capabilities are with AI. So I hope you found this video quite beneficial guys. It's fairly easy to run your own uh, short GPT like model on your own local desktop. You can even utilize Google Colab. So I hope you found this video quite informative and you got some sort of value out of this. I hope Ray is able to actually able to keep working on this and he's able to keep improving the system even though it's already so good i believe he's going to be doing a lot of work now as there's going to be more people who are going to look at this but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you got some sort of value out of this video definitely give world of ai a follow if you guys haven't already turn on the notification bell like this video and if you guys haven't seen my previous videos i highly recommend that you do so so with this thought guys spread positivity have an amazing day and i'll see you guys very shortly Peace out, fellas.